So here is how to create a course on Standstore, and if you'd like to follow along, you can clicketh the linketh down in the descriptith or the pinned cometh, something like that, and you can follow along or simply try Standstore for free. <laughs> All right, I don't know why I said it that way, but expect some more weirdness and possible dad jokes as we continue on. So on the inside of this, we're going to be on the My Store section. What we want to do is click on Add Product right here. And given the fact we're going to be creating a course with Standstore, what we want to do is click on Webinar and then X off of your browser. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> like I said, make sure you're paying attention. We're going to click on eCourse here, okay? This is actually going to be pretty quick, pretty straightforward, and let's click right here. All right, so we pretty much have three main options here. We have thumbnail, we have checkout page and course options is kind of like optional-ish, but these are gonna be the main things. I'm gonna go through each and with this tutorial, I'm gonna skip out on a lot of the aesthetic stuff that's gonna be more towards you and uploading pictures and changing around font. All the basic stuff which you know how to do, I just wanna show you the big overview so you can use this tutorial, run with it and then edit to your liking. Okay, so we have a style, we have button, we have call out and we have preview. In case you're wondering what this is, this is gonna be on your stand store. I like this one, I think it looks fine the way it is. Select an image once again. If you have a course, the name of it could go right here, like a video box or ebook, you know, branding, title, anything like that. Once again, I'm just gonna keep it. The recommended thumbnail should be 400 by 400 in case you were curious. So add text, get started with this amazing course. And if you look at the right, whatever shows up here is gonna show here. So then it says a two line summary course to close the sale, what will they learn? So all right, I'm just gonna say this is called the Marketing Island Mastermind, just a random name. Then a two-line course summary to close the sale, what will they learn? All right, so discover how to drive leads and sales around the clock using social media, get my course, that's fine. You can also do like click to continue or even tap to continue, especially if you're gonna be using this on like very, like on, uh, on Instagram or you know places where people are gonna be on their mobile, anywhere where there's shorts. You could do tap, but people know what click means if, even if they're on a mobile phone, right? So that looks good, let's go to next. All right, so this is going to be the checkout page. This is where they make a purchase. I do have an image, so I'm gonna just put one here very quickly, so one moment. All right, and there's gonna be my image. I'm just gonna use that very quickly, just because I had one already and it matches it being Marketing Island, of course. So this is gonna be the description body. What I like about this is that their AI generator is actually pretty good. So you can use this as a template, very straightforward, very simple. It'll allow you to get up and running, but if you want a little bit more detail, click on Generate with AI. And briefly, I'm just gonna describe the product and what makes it special to your audience. So you get 800 characters. I'm not gonna use all of them, but I'm gonna type something up and I'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, this course will help you to leverage the most popular social media platforms uh, to help you generate leads and sales around the clock in your niche. I might've said that wrong, but no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna click on generate and once it's done, I'll get back to you. It's probably gonna take like, I don't know, 20 seconds. So I'm gonna make you wait that whole 20 seconds while I do nothing. <laughs> just kidding, when it's done, I'll get back to you. All right, and just like that, we are done. So it's gonna have a good amount of information here and what you can do is either replace or dismiss. And keep in mind, it will actually replace what is here. So make sure that you use this if you want this gone. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click on replace and there it is. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of this just cause it's an example, but you can easily go through and add like more bullet points about what makes it so good, what you're gonna gain from it. Like if you don't have any testimonials yet and say it's, you're just starting to sell this course, you can always just delete them, right? Or maybe you can say like, I just launched this course, I'm looking for testimonials, you know, things like that. So even if you're new, you can use that to your advantage, right? So a little disclaimer there. So overall, I'm not gonna say this is perfect because this is made up of like an example course here, but you know your course better than anyone else, or at least you should know your course any better than anyone else. So uh, feel free to use a template like this, change it around, and you should be good to go. Like I said, the AI, generation here for the description body is pretty good. Okay, so get my course. Now, if we scroll down on the right, we can see the preview, which looks pretty good. Get my course, purchase. I like buy now, just me personally, you know, so you can use that, you can use purchase. You can do a one-time or you can do subscription. So that's gonna be up to you. Let's say it's just gonna be a one-time price of $97 because that's what everyone seems to do. You could do also a discounted price. So let's say it used to be, 
like 197 and if you look up right here it's going to showcase that it has it kind of crossed off which is cool like it shows a discount if you have the bigger bolder plan i think it's the 97 dollars a month one you can use these i have the smaller one so it's going to be not there unless you use that one nevertheless collect info name and email is going to be fine this is something i bring up a lot the more fields or the more quote unquote hoops that someone has to jump through, the lower the chances are that they're going to convert. So I like keeping it just like this. If you wanted to add a field, you can, but I wouldn't add a phone number if you're never gonna call them or like text them. It just makes it, like I said, there's more hoops for them to jump through. So I'd recommend keeping it like this. If you're gonna be using something else specifically that you know you're going to be implementing, feel free to add it, but if not, I'd keep it like that. Let's click on next. All right, and now we get to the fun part. This is the actual course. So let's go from top to bottom. We have our course homepage, we have modules, and of course, lessons and modules. Let's do this first. So let's click on edit page. And this is going to be kind of the main page here. Once again, I'm just gonna choose that image that I already had. Looks good, so there's that. Okay, it's already there, the Marketing Island Mastermind. And now we have a description. So this is gonna be the home page. So when they arrive, this is gonna be what they see. They're gonna have the little hamburger meal. And this will, did I say hamburger meal? Just like the hamburger thing. You know, it looks like a hamburger. I can't believe I said a hamburger meal. What do I have, McDonald's on the mind? So you can change this around. Like, what do you wanna say when they arrive here? So of course, summary, what will they learn? You know, this is gonna be up to you. You can add your own flair here. I'm not gonna go crazy with this. So, you know, thank you for purchasing. This is gonna be what you can expect from this course. Make sure you look down below so you can get taken to the first lesson and begin right away. Once again, my name is Thanks. Did I say my name is Thanks? Wow. My name is James. Thank you so much for purchasing and enjoy. Something like that. Okay. Customized branding. Once again, this is aesthetics. If you want to actually change the color to get more, you can click on it right here and move that around. And then aside from that, um, that's going to be that. So we can save this and then go back. So let's click on save. Alrighty then, so now what we want to do is add the modules and of course the lessons. So this is going to be easy to do. What I'm going to do is just show you how to delete these. I'm going to delete all of this. Let's delete and let's delete. So now you know how to delete these, okay? And if you wanted to add something, I'm just going to show you from scratch just to kind of show you how you can add everything. So those will be there. If you want to just edit them, you can, but let's click on add module. Okay, and now what we want to do is rename module. Let's call it the introduction. Let's do confirm. And this is gonna be the module. So this is like chapters, and then these are gonna be the specific lessons inside the chapter. So like chapters and modules, just another way of saying it, right? So let's do lesson. And also gonna call this the introduction. Okay, and here we're gonna to have to upload our video. So I do have an intro video. I'm gonna find it and select it. All right, so there I am, there's gonna be the video. So this is gonna be what it looks like. I like how it always shows like the mobile view of it. So you can see that and whatnot. And oops. That's me, okay, talking, I can pause it too. So once again, description, I'm not gonna go through with this. This is gonna be everything you talk about with this specific lesson. So ideally, if you're curious about what you should put down here, just talk a little bit about what they're going to learn. This is obviously an introduction video. So once again, you can say like, hey, you know, thanks for signing up. Uh, you're really gonna like this. You know, talk about maybe some results that they can expect to see or look forward to see, maybe some results of other people, whatever it's going to be that gets them excited about diving in. That's pretty much the basic six, seven introduction, right? So that's going to be there. Okay. So any supporting materials, this is going to be say like, if you have an ebook, you want to add there, maybe like a PDF cheat sheet or anything along the lines of that, you can simply upload it there. We can do save as draft. And I did save as draft in case you wanted to keep it that way. If like you're just starting off to create this course and like, no one's going to be able to see it. You can always just go right here and do published and you can do the same thing right here. We're going back to it and then publish. All right, great. So I just wanted to showcase how that works with the introduction here. So if you want to save it as a draft, you can do that. If you want to publish it, that's going to be the difference. And you can always go in and do that again. So I'm going to do that one more time. You know how to add modules. You know how to add the lessons within them. So let's say we do module. And what we want to do once again, we're going to click here and we're going to do rename. All right, Blueprint Explained. This is from one of my courses that I had a while back. 
All right, and now I kind of want to like slow it down and pause a little because it might look a little tricky here. You noticed how we have our new module here, but we don't have the ability to add a lesson. Anytime you want to add a lesson, whether it's going to be this module, this module, or another module, you just look for the add lesson button. So let's do this. I'm going to do add lesson. I'm going to call this one also blueprint explained, and I'm going to upload my blueprint explained video. All right, so that's gonna be the video. Like this video talks about what you're gonna be learning. Like we're gonna go through the process about how you use social media to generate leads around the clock, make sales, send out emails automatically and so on and so forth. And this would be a good example where we could actually upload a file. Like this was an image, you know, something like that. And if it was saved, you can obviously put it in there so that someone can save it. Maybe they can print it out, write notes. So that would be an example there. And of course, I'm not gonna go through with the descriptions. We know what to talk about with that. All right, and so here's something I did wanna bring up, very important here, because it could get a little bit confusing, right? So what we wanna do is make sure we publish this. Perfect. And you're gonna notice that the blueprint explained is gonna be there because that's just gonna be where the add lesson button is. So ideally what we need to do is click on it, drag it, and we're gonna drop it right in there. Perfect. So now that's exactly where it needs to be. So that's just something to keep in mind is that when you're creating a new module, it's not going to have the lesson button if there isn't a lesson yet. And you just have to drag it and drop there. So if we wanted to add another one in there, we would do that and would keep continuing the process. Then we would move on to our next module, the other lessons in with that, and then you would keep repeating the process. Okay. So that's going to be that section. Let me click on publish. All right, and the last thing I wanted to do is go back to the course and click on the options section where we are. There's gonna be a lot of things you can do here. Some are gonna be for the much bigger plan, but there's also the confirmation email right here. And this is just gonna be probably one of the most important things. So in case they lose access to it, it says, thank you for ordering the product. Please use the course link and it will direct them where they need to go. So that's just another way of getting them to where they need to be. And of course you can change this around. These are gonna be auto-populated, which is great. But if you wanted to add anything else, you know, like PS, and then maybe link them to a bonus. You can do anything you want here. I just wanted to showcase that this is gonna be where that confirmation email is and you can change it around if needed. Uh, last but not least, let's do publish. All right, and I went back to the course one more time and I simply clicked on the course right here. So what we can do is actually look at our stand store, see what it looks like when we're gonna purchase and then we can actually preview the course. So let's do that. I'm gonna open this up in a new tab. All right, so we have the marketing mastermind right here. I'm gonna click on click to continue. All right, so normally 197, it's gonna be $97 here. This is gonna be get my course. And this is something I didn't break up. In case you don't have your payments actually set up, I will show you that after I show the actual course on the inside so that you can actually get paid, which is very important, right? So now let's go back. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the course section, we have preview course and we'll do that. All right, so this is gonna be the main page. Remember, this is gonna be like, thank you for signing up, you rock, you're the best, so on and so forth. We can do first lesson introduction. There's gonna be a video of me, which I'm gonna pause because it's gonna talk over me. We have, once again, more of the uh, description for that section. We can do next lesson, which is gonna be the blueprint explained, and it's gonna be the same process over and over. Pretty straightforward, right? So that's how you can create a course in Stand Store. Let me just show you where you can get to the integration of your payment in case you haven't done that yet. All right, and so when you are on your stand store dashboard where you can see all the left side, what you wanna do is click on settings right here and then you wanna to go to payments. This is gonna be where I am. So you have Stripe and you have PayPal. I went with Stripe. All you have to do is simply click on like the add Stripe button and then follow through with the instructions. If you already have a Stripe account, you can integrate with it. If you don't have one, you can create it, but I'm not gonna be able to walk you through that because that's all of your personal information. You simply just have to go step by step and fill in the forms that they give you and it should be pretty straightforward, okay? So that is going to finally conclude how you can create a course with Stand Store. I hope you got some value out of this. And if you were just following along to see what the process looks like and you would like to test them out, you can click the link down below any description of the pinned comment to try Stand Store for free today. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.